The Kaluskal Benkian Foundation is part of an international charitable foundation. We've been working for more than 50 years supporting organisations to help enrich and connect the lives of individuals. Uh, they've been delivering the big society uh, for many years. We've heard a lot from thinkers, from policy makers about the big society, and we wanted to hear from those organisations working on the ground and the people who they're working with to find out what their interpretation of the big society is, the challenges and the opportunities. Bournemouth Churches Housing Association uh, was established 42 years ago. Once someone's engaged in our services, we'll be preventing them from having an A&E admission, maybe returning to prison through re-offending. We'll be preventing them from falling back into substance misuse. So uh, a huge amount of our work is, is often not seen because it's about what we're stopping from happening. Um, sometimes there is an attitude that if you're a charity, everything should be done for free, um, that, that you're not allowed to actually make any surplus, if you like, from the activities you're doing. But actually, we have to operate in that entrepreneurial and business-like way. We feel we're very much already members of the Big Society. Well, Samaritan started in 1953 literally with one man and a phone, and it all grew from there. Samaritans is about ordinary human beings helping other ordinary human beings. The vision behind our current strategy is to get out of our branches and into our communities to reach out to vulnerable people, hard to reach groups, for instance in, in A&E departments or in GP surgery. So volunteers will be on hand to talk to patients who've done, had a self-harm episode or a suicide attempt. Samaritans, can I help? I think our vision would be that we are the social barometer of the community at the community level and we should be able to feed that into the big society, grander project, grander scheme. The history of City Gateway was that it was set up about 11 years ago. There were some city workers who realised um, that there was a big gap between um, their jobs which were in the city and in the local community. So they developed a programme which was uh, designed to work with some of the most economically excluded people in the area. City Gateway is the first place that I've actually worked as a volunteer and now as a paid member of staff because before that I was like one of the women just at home. It has helped me gain the confidence and the skills that I needed to get out into the world of jobs. Big society is something that's really exciting for us um, but a lot of it's still unknown at the moment and it, that uncertainty um, makes it very difficult um, to plan. We don't want to lose good staff and we don't want to lose this momentum because of the lack of short term um, support. The Craigmore community was built in the 30s and it was slum clearance from the centre of Edinburgh. So in the 60s there was a mother with the help of others they put on a festival, the first Craigmore festival. At one point in the, I would think it would be maybe the early 80s, the Craigmore Festival Society was the biggest employer in Craigmore. So I've been unemployed for three years um, since I moved here and uh, it's made all the difference. I'd just be sitting down in my house stewing going off my head, but I'd rather, you know, get out and do something, and this place is fantastic. We, we have a group of people with learning disabilities who come. They come with their own staff and they work away. It's an atmosphere where people with disabilities and people without disabilities are quite happy to be together. One of the problems with volunteering, because I'm unemployed, I'm on job seeks allowance, is that you can only volunteer for 16 hours. If you try and volunteer over 16 hours, they'll, they'll cut your, your benefits. And I'm trying to give back. One of the things that people are being asked to do is to quantify the work that's being done and show the value of it. And you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of good in that, but it's, it is something that takes time to do, to do properly. And uh, that's another element of support that would be useful to have somebody else who gathered that information, uh, somebody who was really good at it and was able to speak the language of the funders need to know this information.
In Oxfordshire, there are over 200,000 people over 50, and that's a statistic that uh, was set in 2008. Well, Age UK makes a difference to a lot of older people in the county and it does it in a variety of ways. The intergenerational project here at the Northway Centre is um, a scheme which brings together students from Oxford Brooks University and local older people from the community for um, the purposes of teaching the older people IT. The young students, I think they're very helpful. They seem to know well, they learn quicker than my, what I would. <laughs> it keeps you in touch with people and uh, you don't feel so lonely, do you? <laughs> um, there are many qualities and advantages to using volunteers to, to deliver our services, but one has to remember that they don't come free. They don't come without a price tag attached. We have to resource them, we have to train them, we have to recruit them, we have to equip them. We have to cover their expenses. So um, the more volunteers you have, the more that need there is for resourcing them. What would be helpful to Age UK where we're looking at a period of uncertainty and change and we're just learning what the big society really means um, is a little bit of stability and stability in terms of, of funding. It's really important to hear the voices of those people who are working on the ground, delivering services and opportunities for people. And what we've heard uh, is that they face real challenges now uh, but have a real sense of what the opportunities are in the future and we need to capture those. We want these voices to provide a springboard for people to talk about how best they can contribute to the big society and to continue doing what they do so well and to develop and build on it.